A New Mexico man is recovering after being attacked by a dog while in his own front yard. This is the second attack in the community in two weeks, both of which follow a deadly attack back in February. We want to warn you some of the images may be disturbing. News 13's Carla Sosa spoke with the most recent victims who say enough is enough. You wouldn't imagine a dog could take you down that hard, but he did. And then he proceeded to just tear me up. John Nichols says he's lucky to be alive after he was attacked by a neighbor's dog over the weekend. The back of my arm is just chewed up, and that's the good one. The, he just chewed my wrist to pieces. It hurt, it, my whole arm just hurts like you can't even imagine. Nichols was out in his yard when the dog came running towards him. Nichols' wife, Ruth, says she witnessed the attack. She called her son, who was inside their home, for help. My husband told him, get a gun, get a gun. But by the time uh, Nikki got the gun, John had stabbed the dog in the neck with his knife. Tucum Carey police responded to the attack. They say the dog's owner showed up about half an hour after and helped get the dog in the kennel truck. The owner did not get a citation because according to animal control, there have been no prior incidents with the dog. We need to have strict laws with yeah, so with pit bull owners and you know there should be a limit of how many pit bulls you can earn dogs you can have but nichols isn't the only dog attack victim in tucum carry loretta mueller says her 14 year old chihuahua mix was attacked by another dog earlier this month mueller says her dog itsy bitsy was not on a leash at the time of the attack and all i heard was like yelping you know like you know, but I didn't think it was my dog, you know, and uh, so I went, you know, like with the hose and I saw the dog on my dog and I was wetting it and it took off. Then you'll remember back in February, a man died after being attacked by five dogs. Nam Mueller, who says she always sees dogs running loose in her neighborhood, is demanding change. It needs to be uh, addressed because you don't know what's what kind of animal it really is. You don't know what how it's been living. You, you don't know anything except that they're loose and you could somebody could get hurt. Carla Sosa, KRQE, News 13. According to officials, Nichols' incident is still an active investigation. They say they're working with the district attorney's office to keep the community safe. As for Mueller's case, neither party received a citation. Instead, both received a verbal warning.